Welcome back to Rust Belt Diecast Customs. The following video is my method for creating realistic rust effects using acrylic paint. It is the follow-up to my sea salt paint chipping video. So if you haven't seen that one yet, go back watch that. Come and watch this one, it'll make a little more sense. Um, this is an excerpt from a longer video in which I'm custom building a 1967 Firebird 400 complete with rust and different modifications. So like, subscribe, hit the bell for notifications, and thanks for watching. Now that our initial paint chipping is done, um, we can start kind of padding in the rust on this little guy here. So what I'm doing is I just have this, this chunk of foam that I kind of rounded off at the tip. Um, I have some smaller ones too that I'm gonna be using possibly but for right now I'm just using this guy and what I'm doing is I have this orange and brown and these are just the you know regular acrylic paint it's very easy to work with so I'm just taking a little bit of a little bit of orange getting up on the top here you got to have like a little uh, like a palette thing to work with to get the colors right um, because you're gonna be mixing so I just want to get a little more orange you're looking for like a rusty color, obviously. And then I have over on the paper towel, I'm just gonna dab this off until it gets mostly off. And this is just a dry brush technique. So I'm gonna just get in around the edges. That's a little much. Get in around the, the edges of the rusty parts. And just you're just blending everything together. And ideally, you don't want a lot on your sponge, um, and you want to be blotting as opposed to wiping. And as you can see, if you get a little much, that's what's nice about these paints, is you can just kind of swipe it off real quick before it dries. Um, you can get a little off to the, off to the edges and kind of dab it with your finger. That's looking, you can see that's already looking more like rust right there. So I'll continue down the A-frame here, kind of across the, the door top. And it's just a, it's a pretty tedious process, but I'm just, I'm rotating the, the, the sponge around so that I'm getting different, different effects, different amounts of paint. So you can already see on this edge how it changes as it kind of goes down but you're just catching wherever you think rust is going to be um, that's what's nice about these bubbles that have built up from the salt is I can go in and just hit the bubbles and the bubbles are typically what would be the orangey kind of color I really like the way that's looking on this door. And I made this part cut out, so I'm gonna go in the back and give it a little bit of extra, extra attention there. Yeah, so this just, you can tell like the paint chipping made it look cool, but this just, this just really sets it off. Uh, and since this part up here, I don't want a ton of color. It's right on the hood, but it should get a little. I just want more orange in the middle than red. There we go. There we go. So round colors, and then you can see I, I, I dribbled a little bit of paint down the side here to give it a kind of running effect. So you can take just the edge of the sponge and drag it down a little bit. A little more there so it'll give it sort of like a paint running down her rust kind of rust water running down the side and we're gonna chrome a good chunk of this so wherever there's no um, paint is gonna end up being chrome so it looks like the chrome is rusty too but we're gonna go over the top of the rust and then we'll probably come back with the sponge and hit it again with the chrome 
So I'm going to go through and detail the rest of this out. So that's, that's pretty much the process. It still needs to dry a bit, but this is the effects of the rust. Oh yeah, I also painted in the black front fenders because that was what was stock on these. So you can see I added a little bit more damage to the hood in terms of rust and wear and stuff. Touched a little bit of the, the fenders where I want to have um, some rust coming through the chrome. But I love how this part right here turned out. How you can see paint, but there's like a chunk of rust above it. I really love how this turned out with the rust chunks. And what's nice is down here along the, the fender, that's chrome. I'm gonna paint that chrome and then go in with the with the pad and touch up the rust around those chunks there too, because that'll be coming through the chrome. I just noticed I need to hit hit this little spot right there. There we go. Much better. So there she is, a little bit more of the green. You just see how easy that is, it just comes right together. It needs to be more padded than, than anything. So yeah, so I just go through like a lot and just stare at parts of it and touch them up as needed. I just noticed that little area inside there didn't get any. So that's better. So that's that's basically it. And then you can see the hood, I've got a little, a little bit more damage to the hood, but I like how it turned out.